Hello guys and gals, Wyoming Rider here, and today we're going to be unboxing a product here and then we'll do a little demonstration and show you how it works. First of all, a company reached out to me called Cool Gadget, like a pretty cool company and uh, they do this 1% thing where they donate 1% of all their profits, save the planet, so I figured this is perfect for me to bring in my assistant today. I'm going to bring in my assistant Clem here and he's going to help me unbox this thing. Without further ado, take a seat here and I'll show you what I got. This is Cool Gadget's new old portable electric air pump. We're going to unbox this. Open this up here. Now that we have it open, set this to the side. First, I'll start with the accessories here. I'll show you what you get in the box with it here. You get a charger, and you get the other little adapters, like for balls and stuff. So, set those over here. Back in the bag to the side for now. And it comes with two cool little modules here. This being the main one where the pump is, and this is like a flashlight power bank module. And what's really cool about this, it, it can also be one piece, because anyway, you, you can take this piece here, put these together, and you twist it, and it's one piece. All right, and to turn this wonderful device on, minute, and by the way, this feels really good and solid, well made. Great job, cool gadget. This looks pretty freaking awesome. So you push the hose down, and it pulls out. And as you see, it turns the pump on. All right, so then you can screw the hose in, and then it's all ready to go. But as you see, it only had one bar out of five, so I need to get this thing charged up first. So we'll charge it next. And then we'll uh, take it outside and uh, try it out. All right, guys and gals, I'm back now. We have the, uh, the air pump uh, charged up. And now I want to kind of go over some of the and features here. Start off, we'll go with over some of the accessories here. It comes with both valve types. It comes with the Schrader valve already on it. And this also has the press the valve, has that adapter. It also has the little attachment for airing up balls and stuff. And of course, you get the charging cable in there, which can charge each device there because uh, I'll show you it has charge ports on both. This is to charge the air pump itself. You use this USB-C port and also to charge the uh, the other part of this which is the uh, power bank. It's a 2,000 milliamp hour uh, power bank and it has a flashlight built in. But this is how you charge it with that USB-C port. Just pretty neat. I'll get to that here in a second. Put these back down. And it does come with these nice little carrying bags for each piece of it. Since it does come with both valve types, it allows it to air up a variety of things, including cars, and motorcycle tires, and bike tires, and balls. And what we'll be using for today, as I will demonstrate, I'll be using it for a bike tire. It does boast of 150 PSI quick inflation. It says it has an accurate air gauge, and it has an auto, has auto shut off. So once you push that hose down, which I can show you here, and you turn it on, because that is how you turn it on. As I kind of demonstrated earlier, you push this little thing here, and you see it powers the pump on. And then you can pull the nice little hose out and screw it in. And the pump's ready to go. And it will work just by itself, just like this. Or... This is what's really cool because it's a multi multifunction device. You can take this part, this is a power bank and a flashlight, and you can attach it together because it has these two little pins you see there, which allows adds more power to the air pump as well. So if I lock these together like that, now the air pump's gonna pump more because it's got two batteries, which is a really cool feature. All right, we'll take it back off for now. 
because I want to show you this part of it. This is the power bank. So I'll show you how you charge it. But it also would charge devices with this USB port. I think it will also do it with a C port. It does have, like I said, have this flashlight, which has uh, multiple modes. So you can turn the flashlight on. And again, it gets brighter. And again, it gets even brighter. I mean, it gets pretty darn bright. I mean, it's not completely dark out here yet, but and it also flashes. And turns back off. But yeah, that's a really cool uh, feature to have. Pretty cool that they made it where you can separate it too, so it doesn't have to stay attached to the ear pump. Pretty nice. And it has different uh, modes on it for airing up different things. And it looks like it's already set the bike. And it also has another light on the top of it. If you press this little light button here, it comes on. And if you press the bottom button down here with the little circular icon there, that's what switches it between mode. Now it's in balls. Now it's just in custom mode. And I guess if you use it custom mode, if you had to air up like a car tire or something, but I mean, this is kind of a small pump, so I would only use it for probably emergencies, you know, for that, but it will do it. It's just nice. But we're gonna put it back on bike. And we're going to air up a tire here. And it's a fat tire, so we're going to put it at 20 pounds because that's what it recommends on the tire. So we'll test it out on there and let's see how it does. All right, now we're going to get this set up here so we can air this tire up. And so you just have to, and this is a really difficult tire, more difficult most, but this is kind of shows off why this is a good uh, pump for this because this tire has a direct drive motor in it and it's quite large so you don't have a lot of room to get to this valve. But I noticed with this one, this little hose is flexible enough and it's small enough that I can put it on there because the bigger pump is hard to get on these, but this one fits on there quite nicely. Here we go, All right now it's only got nine and a half so we're gonna go ahead and air it all the way up. So I'll press that middle button. Let's get started, huh? battery bars and pump that tire up 20 pounds now let's see what happens if we attach the battery now oh, look at that puts it right back up to four <laughs> very nice that is pretty cool yeah this is a really nice pump I'm trying to see how hot it gets pretty warm right here from that but I can still touch it not bad not bad at all it's a very nice little pump. All right, now that we're done pumping that up, and, and by the way, it feels like it's, it sounds like I think there's a little cooling fan in there, which is pretty awesome. If you can hear that, I'll try to put it up next to it. Right? Really quiet. That's pretty cool. That's why it stays uh, fairly decently cool in like some of them. So anyway, once you're done, just take the little hose back off. Just push it down in the hole like that. And there you go, it turns it off. Then you can twist it apart, back into two pieces, and then you can put it in the little bags for storage. So each part of this, this has its own little bag here. So this should easily uh, be able to fit in your backpack. Or if you have a bike bag, it should fit in there easily. If you use this at your or whatever for emergencies uh, easily fit in your glove box no problem i'll put this piece in its own little bag to you and it's always great to have an emergency flashlight oh, very nice so yeah you can pretty much take this thing with you anywhere I pump it slightly bigger than that piece but not by much you 
usually fit in my hands and my hands aren't that big. So hope you enjoyed the unboxing and review with this cool gadget and you all portable air pump. Please check out the uh, product link in the description below. And thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with others. And I'll see you in the next one.